Oh, I was expecting something to fall down there. Also, hello, what are you? Giant microscope? No, it's definitely not that. Oh, that's what it means by uh, King Souls Well Within. He actually appears and starts attacking everywhere. I don't know what I can do here. Oh, it's just the like, tank tread that I can't go through. I can go through the machine itself. Oh, you actually fire him. That's what that projectile is. Oh, the sudden boss fight! Oh, God. Okay, it doesn't actually just chase me. It, I can go through it. It is certainly following me, but... Uh, bye. Come over here, why don't you? Oh, you actually have to destroy the, uh, your turret thing. I thought you had to hit the eye. Probably have to hit that last. I'm guessing. Oh, that does actually hurt you. Okay. Oh, I didn't even see my health, goddammit. Kind of annoying that you have to hold it for it to recharge. Oh well. I wish there was a save point closer to the thing. I love just exiting a save room and being surrounded by enemies. Alright, this time I'll save after getting the stupid arms barrier thing out. So I don't have to go do that all again. And you see, I can understand having a special heal thing like a bed when there's nothing else in the room that'll heal you, but having multiple heal things in one room it just seems excessive. Still not quite sure how that works. It sometimes seems like he hits an enemy and then nothing happens, then sometimes he does that, like, weird blade storm thing. Yeah, he didn't do anything that time, but that time he did. A motherfucker. Oh god, boss got summoned. That was interesting. <laughs> Oh god. What the fuck? What? Why? Why did Chrome take focus? I didn't. Okay. Oh, I better take this guy up. Okay, good experience. Fuck. 
It's so annoying to try and collect these things. Where is all this stuff coming from? I don't remember him. I called this fucking faceless robot of him. I'm personifying it. Oh, do you get item drops from the projectiles? That damn the one thing that I wanted. Okay, what happens now? Oh god, okay. Hello, sir. Nothing personal. Oh god. Thought it was gonna keep going. Aha, that's what I was talking about. Oh fuck, what are all these? Uh uh They seem to be homing, but they look like they need to turn. They turn very slowly. Okay, that does very little damage. Oh fuck! This boss is tough! Seems like he does have attack most of the time when I hit enemies. But very rarely he won't. Oh, I think I see what's happening. I think he's like going past the enemy, not actually hitting it. Okay, so Blade is definitely the best weapon for this fight. So I guess what was happening was like he was hitting a wall, but his... Oh, I could have he hit a wall that time, too. I was about to say that maybe he was hitting a wall, but... Like, still hitting the enemies with his, uh... Like, AoE damage? He's... Maybe he's just respawning to, like, right before he hits the enemy or something. In those situations. That's probably it. What? What causes this guy to stop? I think it's just a certain, like, distance traveled or something. Or, like, a certain amount of time or something like that. Despite the fact that this boss is hard as hell, I can respect this boss's design. Not just visual design, although its visual design looks awesome. It's a very interesting boss. A very interesting gimmick. Although the tank treads are kind of annoying, I don't suppose it's any more annoying than that weird spark creature at the bottom of the egg corridor. Oh yeah, this is the best weapon. Oh god. It's hard to tell which way it's gonna go, too. Which sure is a better indicator for that. My full health. How? Yes! What was that? Monster X? The goddamn Transformer? Except instead of like, a humanoid robot in a car, it's like, a weird tank tread thing. X 
it, I mean, it did look like an X. The reason I said X just then was because it looked like an X. I forgot that it was literally called Monster X. So I guess so you see where its name comes from. But instead of a car and a humanoid robot, it's like an actual animal and a machine that like goes through tunnels or something and murders everything. I don't know. But oh my god, what is this weapon called again? Does it have a, does it a name? No, just Blade. He said to avenge him, but god damn it, he's gonna be avenging himself at this rate. Well, bye, Mr. Uh, Booster Guy or whatever your name was. Professor Booster, that was it. I like get to save. Oh. Hi there. Oh. Oh. What are you doing here? Really? So misery sent you here too. <laughs> Maybe there's a sliver, silver lining after all. You see, this island floats in the sky by the power of a certain organism. Oh, so that's why they said descend to the surface. I gotcha. Because we're in the sky. Okay. And I recently discovered its location. This labyrinth. The organism lives somewhere within this very labyrinth. If one could destroy it, the island would cease to function. <laughs> Doctor must really be in a rush to send you into the very heart of this island. Take this with you. Booster version 0.8. This little machine will help you fly, yes. If you press the jump button mid-air, you can hover. Use it on the item equip screen to equip it. On the item screen to equip it. Phew. The minute I was sent flying, I thought it was all over. And yet it enabled me to meet you once again. Looks like my luck has run out here. I pray for your victory. Oh no, were you always able to talk to them, like, as they were dying? <laughs> Kinda fucked up, actually. Why would I need to equip it? Like, what reason would there ever be to not have it equipped? Unless there's something else that also uses a double jump? You have to switch between? I wonder. I was wondering if it would just allow me to fly forever, but nope, it just extends to my few seconds. Alright, so I think I came from this way? What's this? Red thing there. Boulder chamber. A massive, heavy rock. From behind, you can feel the wind blowing. Those look like those, uh, weird, like, paper things that they have in, like, Japanese shrines or whatever. I forgot what they're called. Eh, yeah, whatever. There doesn't appear to be anywhere else I can go. Right, if it's backtracking time, then it's backtracking time. Good job. You didn't see any ghosts, did you? This is the legendary labyrinth. I don't know who made it, but it's apparently the trash heap of the island. There's only one way out. 
You have to get past the giant rock in Boulder Chamber. I'd go with you, but the state I'm in, I'd just get in your way. Aww. Wait, I don't think I saw this door. No, I didn't. That guy wasn't hurting me. Oh, for a second I, I thought it was just like an invincibility thing. I'm so hungry for the Mimiga flesh. You smell a bit like a Mimiga. Long, long ago, there lived a witch on this island. She's the one who constructed this labyrinth in order to keep us bodies penned up. There's an exit to this maze, but the path to it is blocked by a huge boulder. Moving the boulder would ju be just the beginning of your trials. That teleporter over there used to be working until a little while ago. Of course, it just fled elsewhere in the labyrinth. Hey there. This is a labyrinth shot. But sad to say, we got burgled a while back, and there's nothing to sell right now. Sorry about that. Ah, uh, here about... How about this? Turbo charge. You can have it for free. I don't see any money on you anyway. Oh. Uh, yes. <laughs> have you ever seen the outside of this island? This island is floating high in the skies. As to how it manages to float, that secret lies within this maze. Oh! Uh... I, so I searched the entire labyrinth to see if there was anyone who could help me, and you said that you wouldn't help me because you couldn't. Aha! I was wondering when you'd show up. If we could just get this big rock out of the way, we can go to the exit. Rumor has it, though, that a monster nest flies just beyond. You better be ready for that. Ah, don't worry, I've got King Sword. I'll be fine. <laughs> anyway, let's get this thing out of the way. You hold that side. Ready? Push! It hasn't moved one bit. Not sure the two of us are strong enough. Huzzah! You! Oh, -ho -ho! you're alive, I see. Not only that, you're trying to get out of the labyrinth. Shouldn't you be staying put like good little robots? You can't stand up to my master any more than I can, you know. Fine then. I'll just put a stop to this. Hope you don't mind being iron scraps. Just who we were looking for. Pick the middle, would you? Ready? One, two? Are you even listening to me? Where am I? Oh, I was... with the dim or something? I'm not sure what the purpose of that is. Balrog, yet again. <laughs> you win. I'll move the rock for you. But remember, don't tell anyone that I helped you. Your secret's safe with us. Ready? Push! Now, remember, don't tell a soul that I helped you. We won't. I don't think he's really that bad of a guy. Oh, nice. Let's go! This whole mess of monsters waiting for us. Oh, is he actually gonna help?
Oh, she has my old weapon. Oh, you have, like, a bubble to protect you from drowning. No fair. Oh, god. Paying attention to my health. <laughs> are these even doing anything, or are they just like free experience? Probably free experience. So as I said before, when we actually like trade weapons, I don't know if you actually can say no to the trade. But if it is possible, and you did do it, would she ha still have her machine gun here? I mean, probably if. Uh, saying no is an option. But for all I know, it could be like, no, no, I insist. Here, take it. Are you gonna be okay over there? Okay. You could just ball jump or something. Oh. I was not paying attention. <laughs> Damn it. Flew too low. Okay, this is the furthest I've gotten so far. Why does the enemy react to me getting close, but not her? Max level. What's it gonna do now? Okay, there's something down there. But how you get to it, I have no idea. If it's... Oh, it's something over here. Ah, uh, yeah. So that's just if you need to get back. Okay, yeah, so it's basically just the same as the old missile launcher. Except it does more damage, I guess. about it and I think I've decided I'm going to nickname this ni this weapon the Kingmaker. I'm never going to call it that again but at least you guys know that in my head I'm referring to it as the Kingmaker. thing about this weapon is that whenever you get hit you immediately lose like max level. I'm pretty sure it's weapon specific because I haven't seen any other weapon have that problem. Fuck it.
Do I hit him at all with that weapon? Okay. Just to be safe, I had to make sure I wasn't going to fall into the spikes. Oh, um... Do I check out, check out the teleporter first, or check out this area first? I think there's more stuff over here, but I don't know if the teleporter is the objective. I'm gonna check out the teleporter. Maybe it's just like a save point or something. Yes, yes it is. Okay. 